Thank you for joining us. My name is Peter Singer. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Grand Challenges Canada. And I'm here today with Dr. Carly Silver, who's the Program Officer for Maternal, Newborn and Child Health for Grand Challenges Canada. And we're here to talk about a new initiative of Grand Challenges Canada called Saving Brains. Yes, yeah, Saving Brains is a really exciting program and I'm really happy to be here today to talk about it with you. Great, thank you Carly. And obviously we're here in a kindergarten classroom and uh, kindergarten is about helping children, young children, reach their full potential. Sadly, there's many children around the world whose path to reaching their full potential is blocked before they even get to a classroom like this. Carly, tell us about the problem that you're trying to solve with the Saving Brains initiative. So the Saving Brains initiative is trying to address the unfulfilled potential of the world's children. The global community has been pretty good in the last decade of reducing the death, number of childhood deaths from about 12 million to under 8 million. And so we're making progress on that front. It's still a massive number and there's still more that needs to be done, but we're getting there. At the same time, um, what happens to all the children that actually survive um, past the age of five? And how have they coped with all of the effects of poverty um, to get to that point? And what we see is that there's actually um, a, an unfulfillment of their cognitive potential. And essentially that's locking both the individual children as well as their societies and their countries in a perpetual cycle of poverty and underdevelopment. Hmm. What are the causes of that uh, blocked cognitive potential? Yeah, so the ones that are out there at the moment that we think are um, the most important would be malnutrition and infection, um, poor management of pregnancy and birth complications, and a lack of nurturing and stimulation in those first thousand days of development. You're obviously passionate about this problem and committed to it. You've spent a lot of your professional life working on issues of maternal, newborn, and child health. Where does that commitment and passion come from? It's from witnessing this firsthand. In 2007, I was in Malawi and I met um, a young girl, a little child um, named Annie. And um, Annie was, would kind of launch her tiny body into whosoever's arms were open at the time and was just craving um, attention. And while she was beautiful, she was obviously um, malnourished and um, lack, had lack of attention, lack of nurturing. Um, Annie grew up in a village that, sub, that um, ate primarily cassava, which is a staple crop that's not very rich in um, the nutrients that Annie would need. And um, like many of the women, Annie's mum would need to be out in the field tending to the cassava crops and dealing with keeping the entire family um, fed and healthy and um, as much as possible. And so she didn't have the same time to be spending with Annie, nurturing Annie. Um, and there's 200 million children um, like Annie that are um, experiencing these same risks of malnutrition, infection, pregnancy and birth complications and, and a lack of stimulation that um, prevents them from fulfilling their full potential. So let's talk about solutions now for children like Annie. What is Grand Challenges Canada trying to do in tackling this problem with its Saving Brains initiative? Well, it's a complex problem, so we'd like to take an integrated innovation approach. So this is tackling the scientific aspects and as well as the social and cultural barriers and um, any other implementation barriers, be it commercialization or scaling um, of, the, of the solutions that we find. And um, on the scientific angle, we need to better understand um, what the different risk factors are, where these risk factors are in the world, um, and where they're most prevalent, and um, what the interventions are best at actually reducing um, the effect of these risks. And why, Carly, do you think it's so important that Grand Challenges Canada pursue this Saving Brains initiative? There's a massive potential for transformational change here. Imagine unlocking the potential of 200 million children who are faced with um, problems that they probably could come up with amazing solutions themselves um, in the area of health and development um, 
in a wider sense and um, just imagine what the world would be like if we could actually unlock that potential. Wow. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us your, uh, your commitment, your passion, your optimism, your knowledge, and thank you for joining us. Uh, if you want to find out more about Grand Challenges Canada or its Saving Brains initiative, please check out our website, follow us on Twitter, or follow us on Facebook. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.